hi guys and welcome back to my channel i know i look like a hot mess right now but this is literally you know what my life is all about right now trying to stop my brow from moving so i set it with translucent powder so ignore all this craziness and let me get into this tutorial okay so now i'm back and i'm going to be re i've already done this makeup look because honestly i was trying to figure it out off camera okay so first off when i'm doing my eyeshadow i usually start with the powder so this powder is from milani and it's in the shade warm so i'm going to first start by applying that powder in my crease with a large fluffy brush something like this if i'm looking in that direction i'm looking at my monitor if i'm looking in this direction of the camera i'm still looking at a monitor bear with me i'm trying to make sure that's where i focus so i'm applying that you know in no particular way i'm just avoiding my brow bone and i'm applying that color into my crease like basically everywhere here so now i'm going to take a lighter shade of that milani powder and then this one is in the shade medium and i'm just going to apply it on my brow bone to give it that highlight still just sweeping it no precision to it just making sure at least it sets the concealer that i place second transition color and i'm using this raspberry plummy pinkishy i'm using this color from zaran it's a blush actually from zaran cosmetics and i'm just going to apply it again in the same place that i applied the i've applied that color all over and i'm basically just tapping the brush on the palette to dust off the excess shadow now i'm going to go back in with the milani powder i'm going to use it to blend out that color so stuff i'm going to be taking this warm brown tone right here from this palette makeup revolution and i'm going to be sweeping it in my outer v like that and just taking a little bit i'm using a pointed blending brush looks like this so that way can the color can really be concentrated inside the corners of my eye so i'm just sweeping it directly in my crease area just right there the crease is where your eye forms that your eyeball goes into the socket that's your crease next up i'm taking the next shade after it that's like a darker brown you don't really have to use the colors the the products that i'm using you can use any products but just kind of follow my method so to speak so now i am just sweeping that next shade into my eyes into my crease again just trying to build depth in that corner now you're wondering like how did i go from this to that i don't even know either once we went there so the black i'm using is from this mud palette and i am taking this small like pencil brush with the black at the tip of it and i'm just still again building more depth in the who is this enemy of progress so focusing it in the outer corner i'm still going to go in again with that same the second blending brush that we used to blend it all out and also dip it lightly into that black like just that much top of the excess and with a very light hand just sweep everything in so taking my eyeshadow base and this one is from <coughs> classic nigeria this one is from classic cosmetics nigeria and i'm just applying it's basically just a white base just to allow my colors to be more pigmented the first color i'm going to apply is this blue shade like it's like a royal blue shade from Sydney. i'm human so now i'm just patting that shade Ooh, very pigmented and i'm just taking it like one third of my eye and i'm just leaving like this little corner here open that's why i'm going to apply the other colors <clears throat> so now i'm using a flat fluffy brush to apply it and as i'm applying i'm also blending into like the same sweeping technique I'm also sweeping into that black so that I don't have to do too much work when I'm doing like the final <coughs> sweep with um with the brush. So patting it in, 
and swiveling. So I'm taking the bronze shade again and patting it for pigment and then sweeping to blend. I always like to use from Inglot Cosmetics is in the shade 84. So base brush like that, and I'm going to apply it onto the area that I applied the glitter glue, and I'm just going to again sweep it into the other color to blend it out. Okay. Looking good. This one is from Glam Girls and it's in the shade DPO2 DPO2 Gold Dust. So again, still using the same brush. This is the pigment right here. Just tap in just that much. And we're going to apply it at the beginning. Up more arms. Right there. To get that pop and I'm just going to drag a bit of that color again too into the green like so it's really simple how to slay your eyeliner for beginners Using my twerk foundation is um, in shade 180. When I apply foundation, I usually like to just keep under my eyes, under my eyes, just slightly, just a tad bit. I'm going to use a fluffy brush. I'm going to use a fluffy brush, and I'm going to be mixing these two shades, like the orange shade and this brown. This one is very similar to my skin tone. Just mixing them together and. Sweeping it under my eye. I'm using my liquid concealer from Zan Cosmetics, and this is in the shade Deep. Oh, I know I said little, but this looks like a lot. That's because the concealer is really pigmented. Laura Mercier in Laura Mercier in medium deep. Oh, so that it doesn't start creasing under my eye. Kind of why down in the way I am. No, no. See, there's no nose. <laughs> there's literally nothing. There's no nose. There's no point wasting this powder here. There's no point. Oh god, Jesus. <laughs> Just going to take my gel right now and apply it in my waterline. This one is from Inglot. Jesus, I'm hungry. Next, I'm going to take this. Like brown shade, and I'm just going to use it to smoke my lash line. And so, using that same pencil brush, I had a bit of black in it. Oh god! Use my mascara from Zion Cosmetics. I'm using this to like merge the falsies to my natural eyelashes mm -hmm. or whatever yes i hope you guys are at this point with me right now are you still with me if you still follow through to this point of the video leave a leave a maybe love smiley can you even leave smileys on youtube just leave a Leave a, hmm, leave, a, leave an I was there comment and I'm just going to know that you were here. You follow me to this point and you, you follow me to this point and you got your makeup to this point. Now for my lips, I'm going to be using this pencil from Jordana. It's just like a light brown and oh my god, it is sharp. I think it's a brow pencil. <laughs> Whoa, that one actually hurt though, eh? Ah, I'm not in the way. Apply my lipstick from Gioni. It's a like nude, pinky lipstick, and I just wanted to apply lips because it's been such a while. Like I miss that lipstick, like stick feel. 
and this one is ls 36 the gloss i'm using is from beauty by 80 in the shade glim mm. really like it because it's just very lightweight and i've got white cast i'm going to be using like regular hair gel this one is just like a 150 gel you can't find anywhere any anywhere really anywhere and i'm just going to use to brush my brow hairs in place i mean if you can set hair you can set your brows right i'm going to use that to take away like that powdery cast whoopsie that was a lot okay. that is done brows are popping eyes are popping yeah they're having this magic right here you, you can do your makeup yourself i dare you to doesn't mean you won't still book like makeup artists. I'm still open for booking too. Please don't let me come and play myself. You can do your eyes like this. Use my finishing spray from Zion Cosmetics. Okay, so my look is completed. This is this, I'm going to call it Peacock Inspired Eyeshadow. <laughs> eyeshadow look. And I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. I hope you guys actually learned a thing or two. I hope you guys can see my effort at slaying my edges. Like, I'm a waste of myself, really. Thank you guys so much for watching. And thank you guys for staying to the end. If you stay to the end of this video, Thank you so much. Love you guys and can't wait to see you in my next tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Like I'm trying to get used to this life of telling you guys to like and subscribe. You like it and subscribe and encourages me to do better. It makes me feel appreciated. So make a girl feel appreciated today. Help a sister. Thank you guys and see you in my next video. Mwah! Also, you can comment like ideas for like new videos, like things you want to see. I'm thinking that like, I should do like an everyday look, like a simple everyday look next. So let me know what you think below and let me know if you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you guys and bye!